Hey friends, welcome to another episode of The Making of Limitless Dental. I'm your co-host, Ashley Hovez, and I have with me my guest of honor, Dr. Nick Ciardiello. Nick, how's it going? It's good. It's good. Uh, everything's been going all right. We're, get, we're getting close to uh, doors opening, so getting excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, bef- before we get into that, every time I see you... <laughs> something is different and I know so you don't have facial hair and your your hair on top of your head is long it's 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 very long correct correct I was trying to hold out the beard for the office a little bit to kind of be like a caveman and then coming alive at but like I just couldn't this morning I was like I don't want to look like a bum on her podcast oh man (laughs) well can I just say you look super like California right now like you're super tan thank you I um my skin was uh, so I, I used to tan back in the day, back in my like Guido young Jersey days, but I, I don't do that anymore. I'm not outside that much. And like two weeks ago, I went over to my buddy's house. who's a pediatric dentist. We we're out in his pool all day. My girlfriend's like, put on some suntan. I was like, I don't need it. Came home the next day. My whole back was just peeling. Oh, and then geez. now, now, now I got a little of a tan though. So it's not bad. <laughs> there you go. I, I have like an all year round tan. You should yeah, see you what else. I'm jealous. <laughs> Well, okay. So in Filipino culture, the lighter you are, the the more beautiful. Okay. Do you get darker in the sun? Oh, no, I get you? I get like black, like. Oh, really? And if you see my boys right now, I've actually had my friends ask if Brian is their real dad. <laughs> like, <laughs> is their dad not African American? Like, no, my kids are so dark. And um, we just got back from um, a four day trip to Santa Barbara. Oh, nice. It was it was Brian's and my youngest son's birthdays. So they were out like all day at the beach and the pool and legit. You can only see them if they smile like you can't. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Oh, to start man. start robbing some banks at night or something. How that Seriously, <laughs> you know what? If this second startup doesn't go as planned, then I think I may have to do. That. <laughs> you might have to start sending them in. I mean, with all the money you spent, of course. How many operatories is it again? Your second one? It is. It's plumbed for nine. Wow, that's big. You know, it's um, it's so funny because the building itself. So. Do you know the history of this office? Have we talked about it at all? Uh, from what I, I I know, it's been like a two year process. I like because I, I I remember that sort of, but like I, I don't know like all of the you know the nuances of issues. I guess. So uh, this building is is almost four thousand square feet, and it's actually a it was an event space. So people okay. threw weddings here, and okay. uh, my husband he's like only you would freaking go in that building and see a dental office. Like everybody <laughs> else would see like, you know, something, something else, something else. And I'm like, no, I'm going to put smiling co there. But it's funny because it, it's so big that I, of course, I'm going to put operatories in there. Um, yeah. But now all I want is like a little practice that I can just work out of one or two rooms. I know nine's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Like at some point you just got to start considering like, Hey, like I know the quality versus like, you know, quantity sort of thing situation. Yeah. Like, you know, we're both kind of coy trained. So I know I probably have an idea of how you, you like yeah. to work. And yeah. once you get the nine and then like you have another office, what your other office is five. Other it office? has six. 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 So that's a good, in, in my opinion, six, seven, like those are good numbers that you can still keep, keep the quality, but you can also sell to a DSO in the future if you want, like yeah. if you want to go that route, yeah. if you're less than six though. Like, DSOs aren't looking for four or five op practices. Are they so, not? No, they're usually not. So like they, they typically they look for six or above mm-hmm. unless you're like a stud practice who like who's doing crazy numbers with four or yeah. five. Because like think about it, like trying to find someone who's going to like, let's say you're a five op practice doing four, four mil, you know, a year or something like that. Mm-hmm. How are they going to find someone who's going to do the same things that you do to replace right. you? Because like that that's the issue when you start talking about smaller practices, you need someone who produces. No, for sure. So. Oh man. So we'll, we'll see yeah. how this goes. Like maybe I'll yeah. just quit and then just podcast full time. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure there's going to be a smile and co three. There'll probably be like, <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have one of those running. Uh, so it's funny because I actually say that if, if, and when we ever do this again, it'll be on Hawaii. Like, okay. So 
you're fine with just two. So like, per, I am, like yeah, two is it. Okay. Two, okay. Uh, two and through is what I say. But I also said that about children and then Cody happened. <laughs> so <laughs> you never know when it's just going to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> if okay so if there is ever a smiling co again it'll legit be a two op practice overlooking the ocean on maui that's what i want how far is your first one from your second one 25 minutes okay because isn't the second one more in like napa valley ish type area like wine country area i thought N no it's still in the greater sacramento area so okay. i think we're actually it is halfway to Tahoe and halfway to wine country. So we're still, okay. we're still like an hour and a half from, from Napa. Not bad. It's, they're close enough. They're You're going to see it. You're going to come to the retreat. You're going to come I'm, to I'm, my I'm office. coming. Okay. I'm, I'm planning to come. So. Good. No. Well, you, and I you do, have, I come. do have to, I, I know I, I do have to start posting about it. I will. I was just like, <laughs> everything's like, everything's just been like, Dude. it's it, the, every day is like a little little issue yeah. and it's just like yeah. i don't even like some days i just don't even want to open my instagram <laughs> but like oh, i have to you have to no. keep up with it unfortunately uh, absolutely and i totally feel your pain but okay so with that being said i'm gonna take notes if i can so i'm in my office right now and the the new one the new one so i cleaned up whatever your line of sight is on the video but if but you like <laughs> If you see the rest of the office, it is, it is mayhem. I don't even know where a pen is. Okay, I'm going to take mental notes, Nick. No, it's, it's fine by me. That's what I usually do. <laughs> okay, did, so you get, did, you, did you get your CO yet for the second? I did. I did. Oh, it just so happened last week. When's the start date? Because I thought I saw that. Well, when's the start date then? So this whole whole week was just unpacking, organizing, and then training and we're still not even, oh my gosh, Close. we're still, there is so much shit that has to get done. So we were supposed to see patients last week. And then we said, okay, well, we don't have the CFO yet. And then this week we already knew like, there's no way we're going to be able to see anybody yet. I don't even have, um, our, our freaking sensors just got delivered yesterday. <laughs> Because I procrastinate <laughs> like crazy. Hey, what what kind of sensors you get? Um, I ended up just renting Jazz for now because but they're they're new, aren't they? I have no they're idea. Newish, okay. They're they're newish on the market, but a lot of the startup people like they recommended them, and I'm I'm liking the fact that if something were to happen, you get like one replacement or what have you, and it's like a mm -hmm. hundred something bucks a month for renting. For renting. That's not bad. Yeah. It's like how much how much is that sensor like um the retail? It it's over six thousand, I think. Oh god, that's like so like I back I initially had Dexis like on my plan um to use them, but like dude, they're like the mafia. Like every little yeah. thing you have to pay for. They don't get yeah. let you get away with anything. And then yeah. they're like seventy five what are they seven to eight thousand depending Same. on when you get them. How can I run a business and and with yeah. one one sensor with no wow. backup and just use oh. the Texas? It's like it's it's ridiculous. It's it's absolutely absurd how much sensors mm -hmm. are, and it only takes one drop, one you know, like your yep. assistants are cleaning up, setting up, and then it hooks the wire, and then there goes the sensor on the ground, and that's ten mm -hmm. grand. Yep, it's and I heard crazy. that technology inside the actual sensors is the same as it's been for the past fifteen years. And they just like, they're still char charging us so much. So like for my office initially, I got the woodpecker sensors. They were oh, like, nice. so like th this was like a year ago when I thought I was going to be open way back then. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't know where I was going. So they were only like 1700 each because there was a new promo because they just came out. So I got two of them at long story short, I'm now using Vodtech for my office because they're like sponsoring my office. So like I got rid of them, but Vodtech's like 4,600. Uh, I got them for like 46 to 5,000 a sensor, which like wow. they gave me a decent deal, but yeah. like sensors are just, they're crazy expensive. They're so expensive yep. and they're so finicky. Like if you, you have to hang the wires, like, cause you don't want them to tangle. Mm -hmm. You don't want them to get pulled. It's freaking nuts. Um, okay. So you are, so in your, in your new office, it is the woodpecker sensor that, no, the Vatek. No. So, so yeah, I just, I just returned the, the woodpecker to be honest with you, because apparently with, 
the Vatech software. So I'm using them as my x-ray uh, system. I think it's an easy dent, but apparently the the woodpeckers don't work through, even through a twain there. So like, oh, yeah, so like Vodtech is a very good company um, and like they have very good quality products, but a lot of the other companies are not cross compatible with them. So like they don't allow you to use other things. So you have to go through them and they're very good. They're not far from where I live either. So like if something's wrong, they can come by, but nice. like still a lot of these x-ray companies are like that. Like they don't let, want you to be no. cr cross platform. They want you to be with them and spend it's all like the money. The with them. It's, it's like apples. It's, yeah. it's crazy. I don't know how they get away with that stuff. <sighs> Yeah, because they can. Yep, and, and dentists, dentists will, gonna, keep, will keep yeah. buying them. We'll keep buying them, and they'll keep doing it. Oh, so it's so crazy. So wh yep. where are, where is your office at currently? Like, how is construction going? So the the next like issue that we just had in like the past week or two was cabinetry. Okay, mm -hmm. so I initially signed up with I won't say their name. I initially signed up with this cabinet company like probably a year ago, like a year and a half ago, because that's how long ago like I even like got into the process. So I, I gave the down payment, which was like let's say ten percent, so not that much. I think my cabinets are ending up being around sixty four thousand. Okay, that includes like front desk, sterile, my lab, four operatories, and the beverage station and the staff lounge. Okay, that's so that's it. That's, that's freaking it. amazing. That's well, and I still need, I need, still need three more rooms. I have a surgical suite and two other rooms that I, but I'm not cabinetry yet. Uh, and like the office manager room, I'm not getting cabinets. I'm like just putting like a, my standard desk kind of there to start. Mm -hmm. um, so it came out to like 64. And like the, the issue that we just had is, you know, about four weeks ago, my contractor got to the point where now they can come and template because the walls and everything kind of have to be done before they template for the cabinets. Mm -hmm. So they came four weeks ago. And it took them three weeks to get me updated drawings from when they sent me a year and a half ago, just to like change numbers. Like instead of 60 inches, 54, right? Oh, and it geez. took three or four weeks. We're emailing them every day. They're like not responding. It's slow and slow. And like at this point, my contract is like, bro, the only thing holding you up are cabinets. So, you know, we've had some issues the past two weeks. And at this point, they now gave us in a date. And that's another crazy thing. So they were like, we won't give you a date for install unless you give us another $25,000. And I was like, is this how we're going to play this? What? Like, or like I, I just want to know because I already paid you 10 grand. I'm going to pay you a lot more. Can you at least give me an estimate? Because everything else is done at this point. It's just cabinetry, you know? So fortunately, I got a date August 9th through I think the 16th. Um, then IT is coming that same kind of time. And then Henry Shine's coming to finish up all their stuff that, that week too. So I'm hoping the last two week of August are training and then probably the beginning of labor, like right after Labor Day is going to be opening. Oh, so, that's oh, so exciting. It's exciting, but like it should have been like months and months ago yeah. and a year ago, maybe. Yeah. But like it's just it's 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 <laughs> tough. It's it just keeps getting more expensive. It keeps getting more expensive. And like they told me that, like, you got to finish this as fast as possible because they're right. Like you find little things to start spending yeah. money on. You're like, oh, wait, I need that. And like you don't really kind of need it, but then you end up buying it. And then it's just more and more like, yeah. I just bought my mega gen implant kit. It was $4,000 oh. for me me the implant kit, 15 implants and 10 screws. And it's just like, or 10 healing abutments. It's just like all these little things just keep coming. And you're like, Oh yeah. God, I'm stressing my loan out. It's, Oh man, it is. Yeah. It, it adds up so freaking fast. Can you see my windows? I, I do I do. do do you like that custom window covering it's a it's one of those papers it's, it's, it's beautiful that they were in my house when I moved into mine <laughs> so there was <laughs> so it's so funny because my office looks beautiful I I really love my office and then my husband came around and he's like what the heck is happening to your windows <laughs> I was like well I don't want to spend money yet, yet on the windows mm -hmm. because it is just one thing after another. I had three people come to give me a quote, Nick. I have a lot of windows in my office, which is which was mm -hmm. the selling point for the space. You know those Lutron, um, the electric, the, the motorized windows. You yep. can say, "Hey Alexa." Mm -hmm. close my shade up and down, my, up and down. just last time my girlfriend's like i'm getting those for our bedroom and i was like oh, oh yeah. they sound expensive <laughs> oh okay so <laughs> just um ballpark give me a guess what you think my quote 
is for those motorized entire office but i only have windows on half of the office because the other part is interior so what my one of my girlfriends said last night just for the house and we they were she was saying the cheapest ones were like 700 a window and i'm assuming yours are probably more expensive than that because your windows are probably bigger and you probably have many more so if we do the math probably a lot seven to ten thousand <laughs> more than that um twenty seven thousand. Oh, okay all right let's go F myself like that's ridiculous <laughs> So we're just going to hang on to these paper bad boys for a bit. So like, what about in your operatories? Like, can you get a gradient or can you get something like that? Because like, I'm probably getting a gradient in some of the operatories just to block out light. And then I'm getting a film to reduce the heat because like, I don't want my AC. I'm sure your AC uh, bill is probably going to be crazy with all those windows. You know what? I have, I thought about the film on the exterior, right? Like that yep. I go to so it it yep. it can be reflective, so it gives the patient privacy too. Yep, you you have like different options. I actually just we were just looking at them. So like, if you you can have it to a point where the people who are sitting inside the office can see fully out, and okay. they cannot see anywhere inside, or you can go like fifty percent of that where they can see a little bit. There's all different options, and like that's actually probably cheaper than like obviously blinds and stuff like that. But still, okay. you got to get someone to install it and stuff, which isn't easy. Okay, I'm so and then if, if you want for if, that. If you want to be super bougie, so you can get what's called opaque glass. I don't know if you saw that. It's a smart film that goes on your glass. So I'm for my treatment planning room and my office <gasps> manager room, which are all glass. Yeah. I'm putting a film on it that you flick a switch and it opaques it. Okay. So, like, so I asked about that, but they told me that the only way to do that is if it's built into the glass. But you can put so, a film on there? Yes. So the company that I'm working with is Opaque Smart Glass. Um, they offer two options. One, you get the, a, a, the glass with it already installed, or you get a film that they imply, but they need low voltage. So keep that in mind. You need to get low voltage run to them so that can happen. And unfortunately, obviously, I already have low voltage everywhere because I knew I was doing that. So I got that built in. Okay. But it's... So it's that's not cheap either. So just a heads up like that. That's pretty darn expensive. I would only do that like treat and planning room or something on the inside of the office. I wouldn't do that on the exteriors. It's going to be way too expensive. So you flick a switch and then it opaques the glass. O opaques it. it. It's awesome. Yeah. And then there's another thing too. An another type of film. I can get the name later. Girlfriend was showing me yesterday. So it's a HIPAA compliant glass, uh, a HIPAA compliant tint, right? And what it does is you can put a strip of it just in the middle of your windows and it actually blocks out TVs. That's it. You can see full and see the people inside there, but it blocks Shut out up. Yep, TVs, uh, computers, any sort of digital stuff. So if you're showing like a case up in the window in it, no one who's walking by can see it. So it's HIPAA compliant. What? So like, Wait, I, what I, is I can that get called, this. Rick? Kayla, Kayla, I'll, I'll text you okay. later. I, I, I don't know the name of it. But I was looking at the other day, and that was actually a relatively cheaper option, obviously, than the opaque glass. And it's pretty cool because it doesn't block anyone's vision of the actual inside. It literally just blocks the screens, that which is, is pretty cool. freaking amazing. And yep. it makes me mad that we didn't invent something like that. Yeah. Yep. And, and it's a film. It probably costs them barely anything. Dude, <laughs> They're charging us real. a ridiculous amount. Um, I'm going to – I'm on your, your Instagram right now. I'm going to text you – uh, my phone number so you can have my yeah number. I'll ask her I think she, she's upstairs she was showing me yesterday it's really cool I even I was at my house and I held up the film in front of the tv you can't see a darn thing when it's on it's, it's that awesome. is freaking wild yep. I love that so much because in my consult room it's all glass and mm -hmm. I was thinking okay well if I just set up the monitor where it's lower then when the people's bodies are around the table, you they're blocking the screen. But that's mm -hmm. way cooler. Like you. Can, oh yeah. Huh. I mean, that's why I'm doing the opaque glass thing because like it's a pretty cool thing when you walk into the room with the patient and like you're about to present, flip the switch, and all of a sudden it's blanked out. It's a little bit more expensive of a route, but that other route would be my my other because that, that's also pretty pretty darn cool and it doesn't affect how like yeah you notice it a tiny bit on the glass, but it doesn't like block it out like crazy. So it still looks good.
And you can, and you only use it when you need it, which is awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you, um, what was the name of the company for the opaque, the, so the flip, they're, the, they're based out of like Jersey or New York. I'm sure there's other ones. Cause I looked, there's other ones all around the country, but the one mine was opaque smart glass was the name of it. Yeah. Apparently this is a new thing like that. That's like a lot of people are doing. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Opaque smart glass. Oh my gosh. That's, and then what do you, what did you call the outdoor, um, not the outdoor, the glaze that you can put on the, on the window? What do you mean? Like the gradient or yeah. the actual, oh, the gradient. So that's, so, well, the gradient would be like, let's say you want little fine dots. There's like, so since my girlfriend's an interior designer, it's like, she has access to all these websites. So like, I literally can go on the website and they have a hundred different types of gradients. So you can get like little dots, like, and as they move upward, they get a little, less dotty so you can see through or you can do it the opposite or you do in the mm. middle i can give you because i was literally just looking at the website i just okay. like don't know what it is my girlfriend has it so i can give you all that information okay look at oh it. my gosh and then we'll yeah. we'll link that in the show notes um yeah it's so. it's definitely important you know because you, you have to think about hippo for one and yeah. like if you have a lot of windows in your office ac is a big thing like i have a big uh, big space i have wall to ceiling windows yeah. so like if i don't put anything to to block the AC bills are probably gonna be crazy. It's so it's so expensive. Like everything yeah, adds everything up is. so <laughs> freaking fast. Are you able to um or is your building do they have like solar panels that you would be able to no? Nope. No, nope. no solar panels, nothing like that. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> like there's not, not much I can do about that right. at this point. And yeah, it's not yeah. like solar's inexpensive either. So it'll be yeah. worth it in the long run, but Oh man. Okay. So you are, you're, you're getting held hostage by your cabinet maker, which we will not divulge their information, but maybe we should, Nick, maybe the shoot next me a DM. <laughs> you shoot me a DM. If so. I'm like, I'm like waiting. Like, I, listen, I'm not one to go and talk you know, crap yeah. about, about companies. I don't like doing that. Cause I wouldn't want people to do that about me, but like I've worked with so many companies. I've had a lot of relationships with social media and stuff. And like, I know how bad and how a good one is. And like some of these companies have treated me so bad that like, <sighs> I can't, I like don't want to be quiet at this point. Yeah. Like I want other dentists to know, like, yeah. this is what you're in for. Like, you're going to be held hostage or like, I, I I'm going to, at some point when the office is open and I'm done using all my vendors, I won't name names, but I was planning to do some videos and stuff like that kind of about them. And like, if anyone wants to know them, they can DM me, but like, I'm not going to like make that yeah. a, a thing. It's you got, you got to be very, very picky unfortunately about who you're working with and it's really sad because if if you if they treated you this way and you have such an influence and following then i can't even imagine if if they if you didn't well the other crazy thing is like the cabinet company for interest i got through my consulting company okay Mm -hmm. and like some of these ones i've gotten through my consultant company and like the consultant company uses them for all their other like a lot of other people so you would think hey if we want to keep getting this, this uh, dentist flow into our business, we have to keep these people happy. And like, it's not. And like, you know, it, it got to the point and like, I never do this. I don't want to do this, but it got to the point where like, well, I called my consultants. I was like, you guys have to call these cabinet people. And like, if it comes to the point, you have to tell them that like, I have a large following here. They have to, they have to budge here or I'll say something because they mm-hmm. weren't responding to emails for like a week. Like, it took them like four weeks to get us the plans. They weren't responding to emails. My girlfriend, every time she writes interior design plans, she types thorough notes and then she red lines all the designs. They would just ignore them. They wouldn't even do any of the changes. And we're like, we said this a year ago and you guys still haven't changed this. Like what's going on? So it's just like, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. I guess everyone has to deal with it, but it's frustrating. So frustrating. For sure. What? Yeah. So you're... Your floors, were they already installed? Yeah, I don't. I guess you didn't see my story like a week and a half ago. Oh, I missed it. What, what's <laughs> so, going on? So we got, uh, initially, so we're getting herringbone pattern um, of the flooring. And like- My favorite. Love it. It looks so, it looks yeah. so clean. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I that was one of the things I paid extra for, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, my contractor, my contract bids were anywhere from 375 to 510, right? My guy was 425, Mm -hmm. but with that 425, okay, that includes like $4 a square foot for flooring, right? And like, realistically, that's not much at all. 
Um, like, and that's not good. So like the flooring is one thing that I upgraded. So I ended up spending a little bit more on it. And since my girlfriend's an interior designer, she has a company that she works with mm -hmm. for her boss and they use. So initially, like about a year ago, when I had these plans, I tell my contractor, I go, listen, if you don't want to do the flooring, we have a guy. OK, he can do the flooring and obviously I'll get a little bit. <laughs> I'll... Oh, sorry, Nick. It's a, don't, don't worry about it. Take your time. Take your time. Like in the trenches. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. Sorry. Everything is good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I'm going to let him know about that. Okay. okay. I appreciate that. Right. Thank you so much. Right. Have a good weekend. One, one, one second. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, no. I'm sorry, too. No, we're good. Perfect. I mean, this is so I'm in the middle of my new office, like surrounded by boxes. And um, one of the so that was my that was actually my cabinet guy. So we're actually talking about cabinet. <laughs> my cabinet people have been amazing to work with. Awesome. And this um, I bought. OK, so ADA compliant. Um, what is it? ADA compliant uh, appliances. Countertops? Yes. Appliances, okay. So in California, I think they have to be at 32. Is Jersey 34? Do you mean depth? Height. Height. Height wise. Uh, I'm not actually, uh, I was, wait, let's see. All my heights are, where is this? Because I have the plans pulled up right in front of me. So my front, uh, not front desk, looks of another, 34 inches are my cabinets kind of generalized around the office. So California, God bless California, is one of the few states where the ADA compliant countertops is actually 32 inches, not 34, mm -hmm. which you don't think it's going to make that big a deal until you freaking start looking for appliances. Yep. Oh my gosh, Nick. So all of the appliances that I bought, everything was 33 and a half, 34, 33 and a mm -hmm. half. Like legitimately, I, I chose appliances not because of how amazing they are or like their functionality. It's literally how tall and how wide are they? Are they going yep. to fit my, my, my whole, <laughs> that sounds bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did. That's all right. I didn't say it. <laughs> um, so, so do, do you mean like appliances? Like, I'm assuming you have like a beverage station, right? I have a, I have like two beverage stations. Even my freaking, okay, I'm super bougie and I put a dishwasher in the break room. Do you have a dishwasher? Not in my brain. No, I didn't go that <laughs> <Okay>. far. <laughs> I wanted my team to not have to worry about washing the dishes. So I, I did that. So my appliances, they don't fit. Like the 32 inch is legitimately, if you had to unscrew the wheels. And then my father-in-law came this morning and was um, hammering the top of the washer, and, oh. uh, the washing, oh no, the dishwasher to it's slide so it. Oh my gosh. So what? that was my cabinet guy. So you're going, I'm, I'm assuming you're going solid surface tops yeah. or Korean or whatever. Yeah. What, what'd you go inch wise for that? One or one and a half? I think it's one and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because like even adding a half an inch like that, like, so oh. like that's, that's very expensive. Expensive. Yeah. But so there's expensive. also a look about it. Like they do yeah. half inch, but half inch looks cheap. Looks like cheap. It, it, it looks one. So I think I went 1.25 yeah. for most of my office. And then the staff lounge, I went half an inch just because it's a staff lounge to save money. The lab, I went straight laminate. Like that's the only place that I have lam laminate in, but like you got to pick and choose where you're going to, you know, spend your money. Cause like, oh. it's expensive. It's freaking so expensive. Okay. So that's your yep. flooring. So oh, back to your oh, story the though. Yeah. So, so we had we had this design plan, right? And we wanted to use my girlfriend's people because not only that, they were giving us a deal because she works at them all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go to my contractor, go, listen, can I use a person? He goes, no, I have to do it. And I was like, fine. Okay. I know you want the markup on the money and I get it. Jeez. Um, just if you if you know how to do it, do it because it's a herringbone bone pattern, yes. right? And and then not only that, we have a thin strip of an accent running in the hallway oh. that kind of guide you through the hall. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is where the problem is going to occur here. So 
it's the first day that they're installing flooring. And it's like two and a half weeks ago. My contractor calls me and he's like, we have a problem here. And I was like, what's going on? He's like, I don't know. And he's like, the flooring's not going to work. And I'm like, call my girlfriend. Cause like my girlfriend's been getting and helping me a lot with this now, because with all she's with the design things, I was like, call my girlfriend because like, if it's an issue with the flooring, she's the one who order it. She'll tell you what's up. He calls my girlfriend. He goes, you know, this herringbone pattern is like hard and it's going to be a lot of cuts. <laughs> We're like what? <laughs> you knew about this for a year and a half and you're just now saying it's, it's hard. So they cut it so we're like no you have to do it and she like hung up the phone oh, shit. he did look so this is the first thing he did like half the office before the accent right and he cut so much they order another like 10 boxes and wow. i overpaid for this so this is expensive stuff he orders the new boxes and then in the hallway this was last thursday after work i work in the office and the accent which was only supposed to be a nine inch strip it turned out to be 18 to 24 inches what? in certain areas of the hallway there, in no. some areas it looked half the size of the hallway and I walked in and like the, the floors were there and like my eyes went like this and like I was just trying not to say anything. I was like my heart's beating and I walk into the back and I was just like I never scream in the back. Behind, like yelled. I was just like this can't be happening. No, it's like another no. issue. Call the contractor. He goes like, well, like if we're going to change it, like who's going to pay for it? I'm like you had the plans. We initially did this, this long story short. They are changing it. It's still not fixed, but he had to order 20 more boxes of material. And that's, that's all on him. That's not fault. Yeah. Okay. It's not my fault, oh. fortunately. But oh like, it's God. it's not like everything was moving so smoothly. There's been so many issues. And now when you walk in and you see it, like, how can even a contractor think that that looks good? Like we're talking a 20 inch strip of an accent in some regions with the LVT right next to it in the herringbone. And it looked God awful. Oh, can you yeah. send me, can you send me a photo? I want to yeah. see it now. I, I had like, I think I had like 50 DMs right after that. Cause people were like, how is that actual, like, how did he actually do that? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, didn't read wow. any of the plans. Apparently I'm going to send you that right now. Oh, geez. That's freaking insane. Yeah. That's that, that wild. was a, that was a, that was a tough day. Yeah. It's um, all the shit that you really the Check your uh, inbox on okay. Instagram. You, you'll see what I mean. Oh my gosh. You see how thick it is? <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's an accent. <laughs> it's not supposed to be half the floor. And like we, and that accent was, was expensive, but we only need so much of it because it was such a thin strip. Oh, so like he, he has to eat all that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. So never trust your contractor that he actually read the plans to any of the things that you're going to send him. <laughs> Which is, it's so bananas. Cause you legit said, no, my, my fiance is an interior designer. She's yep. worked with this company, these people before they're the experts and nope. Oh, what an idiot. Yep. I That's... was actually looking at my, my balance sheet <laughs> today. <even> like, <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I was looking at my balance sheet earlier today in terms of like how much this, this job is costing me. So just for reference, they, they charged me 61,000 for just a prime coat of paint. And then they charged me another 41,000 for the final paint. So I got charged $101,000 for paint for the office. Like in my mind, that seems like kind of crazy. I don't know how it, I'm sure it's like this at other office too, but like, yeah, what does paint cost? Like, what does a primer cost? 15,000 of that. And you're, it's like, I, I don't know personally, but like, it seems a little crazy. The, how did you find this contractor? This was through your so, consultant? So my, the ones that my consultants got for me were the ones who were in the 500 range. Oh, <laughs> and they were 480 four to 515. This contractor actually did the office that I worked at in Jersey City. And I saw his work there because I was there for six years. And then I asked my boss, hey, how was he? And he was like, he's fine. He'll get the job done. I was like, all right, I'll take him. It's like he's getting the job done. Don't get me wrong, and like now, he, like he'll change the things. But like, you feel like you have to hold his hand through the whole thing. Like, I mean, I'm sure you feel like that with everyone. You have to hold their hands. They don't respond to emails for 48 hours, and you're like, "What is this? I'm paying you so much money that like you can't not email me back within 48 hours." Like it's like things, little things like that. It's just like it's it's frustrating. Oh, geez. Okay, so that 
I'm sorry. Yeah. That's no, it's all right. Man. The floor is going to be fixed. The, the floor the should floor be fixed. The floor is going to be fixed. Week. Okay, so yeah. send me a, a post op photo. <laughs> that needs some surgical intervention. Yeah, yep. I mean, I can totally see what your design vision was, though. That that would have it's, been it's, amazing. Yeah, and like the herringbone pattern points upwards, so it points walking in. So you can follow the herringbone pattern and the accent strip to all the operatories. That's how that was the logic behind it. But like, I, I feel like um, <laughs> you are my male twin because can I just tell you when I designed this office, I I put in the design plans herringbone that goes down the hallways. And the same arrow pointing the patient where That's to way go. It should, it's I mean, do we do we just notice those little things? Yeah. And other people don't. Like I don't know. I love it. <laughs> We're I nut jobs, it. guys. We are nut jobs, <laughs> but we are. Um, we have good design taste. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh <laughs> expensive God. design taste, Expen I guess. That's a freaking a expensive design taste. Okay, so where? Um, so that's your flooring, um, and you ended up getting Belmont chairs. Belmont. Yep. And yep. they I, have um, not been installed yet. So they're actually at the office. They didn't put the leather on it yet uh, okay. just because of all the dust and stuff. Like they still yeah. have the paint, but the chairs are in like the, the space. They're just not tied down yet. And like, I only got three and like low key, I think I probably should get four to start just because yeah. like the way my, the way my office is too. So four rooms are on floor to ceiling windows. And they're the, they're the ones in the front. They're the nice ones. Yeah. And then there's three rooms in the back, which will be in my associate. And, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> but the three rooms in the back, there's surgical suite and two. So like those ones you don't really see. Okay. Uh -huh. So like I only did three of the front four and it just looks a little odd because like I finished, I, I paid for them to do the cabinets in the fourth room, just not the chair because adding a chair adds 30,000 yeah. to your cost. You yeah. have to pay for the chair. You have to pay for the hand pieces. You have to pay for what three hand pieces just for one chair not counting the electric motor that you want to get yeah and then and then in tv on the ceiling the tv on there all of a sudden like with all your things you're 30 to forty thousand for yeah. an op that's completed it's like it's crazy it's it's a lot of money and yep. did you um so so you did not skimp out on your hand pieces you went electric right away yeah i'm an nsk i'm nsk oh, me too. yeah, yeah. nsk is awesome I, I love it like you can't like personally like seeing what we see at a saw coist for instance right yeah. you see the benefits of using electric like yeah. dialing down the rpms to fifty thousand versus two hundred thousand, like is a big deal when you're refining margins and you're doing things like that and so like for me it's just the cut of it the you know, simplicity of using it it's just it's worth it and like from what i found is like so like i took a the 3d in uh 3d 3d i implant implant institute courses with michael tran so great course. The guy has like tremendous knowledge on everything digital and hand pieces. And he actually has like a connect who's overseas for these hand pieces. We're talking like hand pieces that are almost just as good quality as NSK and they're a fourth of the price and then what we're getting charged for them. It's like, it's, it's absolutely ludicrous. But at the same time, you don't want to start an office with three operatories with only bogus hand pieces and they're going to keep turning out on you. So for me, that's what I got the startup package with the extras for free. And mm -hmm. I did that in the beginning. And then maybe I'll start filling in the cheaper ones, you know, for replacements and stuff like that. So that's super cool. With with my first office, I went like straight up eBay, ya bang bang, air, I think is what air it's driven. called. <laughs> air driven. Yeah. yeah. So like I personally think like if you can still use air driven, but like for me, I'm gonna use air driven to cut off my zirconia crowns. Yeah. Okay. And like, you should do that. You shouldn't be using your electric hand pieces to cut off zirconia crowns because you are messing with the motors. Yeah. You're messing. Yeah. And you're messing with the motor. Like people don't think that you're messing with the motor. So have air driven just for those certain situations. Definitely for sure. Mm. Yeah. The expensive. They're so yeah. freaking expensive. So, so what, that, what did you, did you get like a three for one deal or like three plus one or something like that? Um, I think I just said your name and they gave it to me. for free. <laughs> 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 no, I think it was like a three. I, you know, so I actually hate looking at the numbers because everything adds up so fast. Yeah. Um, so Colin knows all the numbers. So I think, I think it was like a three by three, get one. Who knows? Yeah. And like, I also got, so like the thing that I liked about them is, so I got their high speed hand pieces and then I also got their endo hand piece. Like I got oh, two nice. of them. They got do you included. do a lot of endo? 
I do like personally, do I like it? No. Um, but you know, I can do molars. I do, I do molars and all the darn time. It's just like, at some point I won't do it. You know what I mean? I'll just refer and just do more of my implants and cosmetics. But like when you're a new office, you have to do everything. You don't want to send people out the door. So like, that's why I had it, you know, everyone, you have to have it in your office, unfortunately. Yeah. What, what about right. kids? Do you treat kids? I, I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, but like my area where I'm located, it's a very young professional sort of vibe. Gotcha. Uh, and I'm like, yes, there's the older crowd, but like, there's not many children in those areas. Cause like, it's a city. It, it isn't, mm -hmm. you, there's no backyards here. So like a lot of the right. people, when they like have a kid, they move out of the area. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, so personally, personally, I like that. And I got their implant motor too. Oh, uh, nice. NSK. NSK. I don't know. If you, yeah. Do, do you, I think, do you do implants? I do, but I don't do yeah. it like you. Like I do like the onesies and then the I onesies. have the BN Air. BN Air. Yeah, those are good too. It's the, yeah, the like, one that's with an iPad. I got it because it oh, looks yeah. super cool with it an iPad. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that like you're a startup, right? And you yeah. do all these different procedures. You need high speed, you need low speed, you need endo, you need an implant motor, which is going to cost you four grand. It's just like how like if you want to do everything, you have to make it like, like I said, it's bought these implants for four grand. It's just like, you need all of these things. If you're going to do everything, it's like crazy. It's, I mean, that's why I think specialists, they like endodontists, I mean, they, they buy a scope, right? But their yep. materials are gutta percha and sodium hypochlorite bleach. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, like endo, endo sequence is their most expensive thing, yeah. perhaps like who yeah. knows, but like every single time as someone asks me now, I, they're like, should I go general? I'm like, I wish I went special. I wish I did specialty at this point because like, like, Hey guys, like specialty at this point is probably easier mentally. Cause you're not yeah. dealing as much as a GP is dealing with. And also like you're hotter on the market. You know what I mean? Like you can work for four different offices in endo because everyone needs an endo. Like it's yeah. GP. It's not, not really like that. And like the overhead of a GP is significantly higher probably than most other specialties. <sighs> for reals it's crazy yep. um okay we are can you believe it's already been almost time i swear the yeah, time geez. just like flies by. <laughs> um where are you at so let's leave with um what's what's up next on the docket and what what are you doing right now for your marketing like have you started doing ground marketing yes so in terms of uh marketing so i hired identity uh identity grace, marketing yes, yes grace grace rizzas so like i saw her on like all those facebook groups and like your groups a lot of people have very good things to say about her so i ended up using with her you know when i initially started with her company i had a little bit of rocky start but that was just because the the rep that i had there wasn't uh on tune but they fixed that and they've been great ever since um so they're running my seo um they're doing my they did my website they actually did my logo too and everything like that so i was very happy with that but we didn't start, we're not starting obviously Facebook and Google ads and local Google or Facebook ads, not yet, because like, I don't even have a phone number yet. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we're not that close and I'm using Mango for that. So I just am getting that set up okay. in terms of ground marketing. I printed up like all these, like um, the first 50 patients get a free oral B and it's like a nice little flyer. It's kind of like handheld like this. And, you know, around in my area, right across the street from me, there's a dog park. And that's where all my operatories look into the dog park. And there's all brand new apartment buildings all around and everyone brings their dogs there. So nice. like, that's something like I've been starting handing them out, going there. And then I'm going to little farmers markets and things like that around oh, the area. That's awesome. Yeah. And then like, not only that, so like, there's this huge account, like in my area specifically called Hoboken Girl. It's a very uh, popular um, Instagram account and they get sponsorships all the time. So like, I'm going to pay them to be at my grand opening to post about it. Right. And then like, they're going to, they have 150,000 followers, but it's all locals. Okay. So like, what? that's a big deal. So, okay, so what them. did you pay? What, what, what do you have to pay for something like that? They're expensive. So oh, like they said, they, they, like they sent me their, um, their fees like two weeks ago. They have so many different packages, right? Uh -huh. Their cheapest package, let's say includes, uh, an Instagram post, three stories, an article, and that's pretty much it. And it's like $4,000 just for that. Wow. Um, yeah. So you have to selectively choose how you're going to use them. But the way I see it is like, I'm making this grand opening, like a thing. So like, yeah. you know, th there's a bar that's actually in my same building. It's like a restaurant bar attached to the back. So like when I have the grand opening, I'm having 
hopefully the mayor, if not someone else, because I already contacted them. I joined my chamber of commerce. They'll come and do the ribbon cutting. It'll be an hour at my office with everyone that I'm inviting. And then after we're going to do two hour uh, happy hour, probably at the bar right after. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. And then like, I want to invite the Hoboken girl to come there to do things. I I've started looking up other influencers in the area and now I follow them. And then I'm going to reach out to a couple other influencers and just be like, Hey, how much would it cost for you to come to my place and story about it for an hour? It will oh. cost me 500. Yeah, I'm, all right, here you go. You have a hundred thousand followers that might help in the area. So like, that's what I'm planning to do for those little things. Um, mm -hmm. I know that's not really ground marketing, but like my oh, area is huge. Yeah, it's it's more socials. Like my area, unfortunately, is in the city, right? So like mm -hmm. ground marketing and sending postcards and like doing those things, mm -hmm. it's it's a little hard. It's a little different because like everyone's digital around my area. It isn't like you're walking to a house and you're giving them a postcard. Right. No one checks their mails around these areas. There's young young people. They don't really look at that stuff. So that's how I'm gonna uh, control it. And then like like I said, I, I will do the ground sort of ground marketing. I'm gonna go up all the apartment buildings around. I'm going to walk up. I'm going to give them a bunch of flyers. I'm going to offer any of their any of their um, people who work for the building. I'm going to give them a discount if they promote me at the place. And every new okay. sign up for that building, every new sign up, they just go, hey, we also have sponsors X, Y, and Z. And here's Limitless Dental. It's right there. Uh, so that, that's my plan for that. No, I love that plan. And it and it makes so much sense because you are in a city. Like it's... Yep. It's everyone expensive though. It's freaking everyone, expensive. everyone wants money for everything. Like my account is just as big as this Hoboken girl. And I'm like, how are you guys getting away with charging as much as you do? Dude. It's just like <laughs> is is Hoboken girl, is it just one person who no, runs it? No, it's, they're comp they're like a they're legit oh, brand. Oh, it's now. a they're, legit they're, brand. Now it is like they're very they're a very good brand. They have like Jersey City Girl, Montclair Girl, Hoboken Girl, and they're all like under the same umbrella. And I think like to me, it seems like they probably have 10 or 15 employees and all they do is like these, these promotions gotcha. and daily updates and stuff like that. So for me, that makes sense to kind of do that because like, that's where I am. That's, oh man, makes me want to just do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easier than like boots to boots to ground. Like what are you gonna do? Like show yeah. up and sit at, sit at a table for eight hours to get 10, yeah. 20 new patient names. Like, right. yeah, that works in some areas, but unfortunately in my area that's that's not really a thing are you are you already ordering uh, a bunch of swag to give out yeah so i got a bunch of these i got a bunch of um water these, like, he um, means hats he's pointing hats, to hat. a hat <laughs> <laughs> i i have uh i ordered like 100 t-shirts i okay, ordered what companies are you using so for t-shirts i use uh, i think it's custom t-shirts.com okay. okay so like a uh, gildan was the brand that i use um I thought it was going to be softer than what it was. I ended mm. up spending like, I spent a decent amount of money because I got a logo on the front and I got a logo on the back to make it look cool. But like, it's tough when you're choosing a company for shirts yeah. and, and yeah. merchandise because it never comes out good the first time, <laughs> which I've been realizing. Like I ordered a hat from somewhere. It was shit. I ordered the shirts. I wasn't really that happy with them, but I already bought all of them. So I have to use them. Oh. I, yeah. And like, then I also got the the flasks like a um a work like a, a water flask what are gotcha. they the, the, yeah a, a, all black it's very nice oh, it's like nice. it's 30 ounces it says limitless dental on the side so like that's another part of the swag that i'll be giving out so like yeah <laughs> did, did you order anything off of alibaba i did so i did my appointment cards mm -hmm. off alibaba and then that was when I had my previous address and like we had all the address issues. So the a thousand that I order on Alibaba are now useless because they have my oh, old, like the wrong address on it. So I have to oh. buy stickers to hopefully that like when the, when the, the receptionist gives, they slap a sticker on the back. It's uh, luckily the address is on the back side, So like they can slap the sticker on the back. But like, again, that's another, like another step to add to someone's day and it's just like makes it annoying i ordered pens from alibaba okay. with the old address on it uh, so like maybe i, I ordered a thousand of them yeah so so i guess i'll just use them with the wrong address on it at this point because like i don't want to have to buy <laughs> new ones because they weren't cheap no so like alibaba is great for certain things i think but like people there's there's a lot of other companies out there that you can get that are stateside that will probably be faster and probably a little bit easier than using alibaba yeah. Oh man, I know language is definitely a barrier too when you're trying to communicate yeah. what you want. 
slows it, it slows it down. Like it took me probably two and a half to three weeks from initiating the conversation with the company on Alibaba before we went into production, because like their timeline, their time zone is so different from ours. It's like one message a day by the time they respond. So like right. it took a very long time. And like, I was like, Hey, I'm saving a little bit. I'm saving 10 or 15%, but it's just like, is that worth it in the grand scheme? Looking back at it, it probably wasn't to be honest with you. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We have to, Oh man. Like I, I haven't ordered business cards for like three or four years so now whenever I go anywhere I'm like someone asks me oh do you have a card I'm like oh gosh yeah no we don't have a card so we don't have that we don't have any swag nothing is ordered yet so do you have a do you have a digital business card I don't think so okay so look at look into popple p-o-p-l there's a lot of other companies out there so right now on my on my uh I, I watch right here. I'm wearing a popple um, kind of band, right? And if someone holds up their phone to this band, it will pull up my card. One sec. Let me Shut pop up. up. What? Yeah, it's just like, I don't know which way it is. But normally what it does is, let me just show you, because it pops this up and it's very convenient. So what I also did was I got a bunch of cards and when the people like pack my watch, let me just show you because it, it's very cool. And I think people should have this because it makes it very easy. So when they swipe, when they tag my, my watch thing, this pops up and it has all no the information, way. my Instagram, my website. And like what I did was I also got metal cards and I like a metal card. I gave it to my mom. So when she's out and she talks to people, all they do is tap her metal card and it pops up. What? And look, yeah, it just see it just popped up when I touched it. And okay. they have to put in first last name, they'll give you their email, they'll give you their phone number, and then you have them on your patient thing now. So like people aren't handing out business cards anymore. This is much easier because everyone has their iPhone on it. They just tap and it works. And then they oh, also do how like how much is that then? So I think the cards when I got them were fifty. So I got the metal cards. The metal cards I think were 50 to 70, but they have regular like cardboard cards that are like 20. They're like cheaper. Oh. It all depends on what you're going to get. Like, I think this band was 50 bucks. They sell dots too, like little like pop dots that you can put on the back of your phone that they touched and then it'll pop up. So like something to look into. There's other companies that also do that too. Um, but Popple is the one that I'm familiar with and it actually works very well. That and not is only that, so cool. but what I recommend too is like give your assistants, every assistant in your office should have a Popple card. Okay. And then when they ask for a review for a patient, they get a bonus, right? They get a five. You say for every review that you get that goes through your popple card, I'll give you five dollars. So they're going to be enticed or whatever money you do. They go to your patient, hey, can you give a review? And like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And they're like, you know what? Why don't you just swipe my popple card? And they hold up, hold up to their phone, and then they'll do the review right there. And then that's Wait. a way to give your staff bonus. So, so on the on the cards themselves, you have a way to to just put the review, like review me yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. You can send you can send it straight to a review. Instead of sending it to that homepage I sent you, you can send it straight to a review thing. So like that's one way that you can benefit the staff for getting reviews for you. And you can keep track of who's getting your reviews Holy based off who's shit. using the card. Nick, yeah. This is gold. Yeah, that, I, that's cool stuff. I see a purpose for that for sure. Do does Google ding you though if they're doing the review in the location that they're reviewing? No. No. Not that, not that, not that I know of. I, I, I haven't heard anything. I spoke to a lot of people who do it this way before, like, you know, obviously I'm not opening, so I'm not doing it quite yet, but I've heard to a lot of people who have been doing it and they said that there's been no issues. They said it's been awesome because people at the office will start competing. Whoever has the most reviews at the end of the month gets a, let's say $200, whatever you want to do bonus. All of a sudden it becomes like a fun little game. Oh, I got 25 just on my card. And it's a simple yeah. thing. It's cheap. You give it to a patient, like to one of your assistant. It's cheap. You give it to your assistant. You give it to your front desk. You give it to everyone in your office, and they all have their own unique popple. So you see who's it going through. Oh man. Okay. So I have my homework cut out. I'm going to <laughs> sign up for popple. I need to look up this opaque window thing and the HIPAA compliant thing and yes. The the window oh, wait Ashley one question what are you yeah. using for your oh, that's a little odd. I don't know why I was holding that it's my cat's toy <laughs> what are, what are you using for your business emails 
like, do, are your emails Dr. Ashley at um, smileandco.com? Smile yeah. Mm -hmm. What what company are you using to run that through? Google G Suite. So I heard that they're not HIPAA compliant. Compliant. Really? So just a heads up, yeah, because I was looking into it the past two or three weeks to get mine in. And from what I heard was they're not HIPAA compliant. So people were saying you have to use um, Microsoft Office. The Office ones, the Office version of whatever it is, is apparently HIPAA compliant. I haven't looked into that yet, but I've heard about Google. So you might want to check that out oh, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Well, good to know. Um, yeah. I, I thought this, I, I, saw, I think I saw that on your Facebook group page. I might have, <laughs> I might have been your, so like you should know that. I should, you know, I am, there's so many things that I should know, Nick, and there's so many things that I am so okay. not, there's like a thousand things. And then on top of throwing this retreat and like, oh God. It's I just, like, I just don't know. That's why I asked you how many days, like, I think I asked you like a couple weeks ago, how many days you practicing clinically? Cause like, I don't understand how you're, how you have time for any of that. This is why I don't sleep. Yeah. yeah see why, <laughs> why we talked about sleep. Oh yep. gosh. You don't need sleep. Eh, yeah, so <laughs> it's like overrated. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, it is already time. I swear. Every time I talk with you, like the hour just flies by. So you are, we're going to, we're going to, um, see, or what's our we have our next sesh in like two weeks, right? Let me check. I think it might be two weeks. I have it on my schedule. So then you'll give us I, all the lowdown. Actually. Hmm. Is there nothing? I, I know we schedule it. I, I guess I didn't plan it on my. I, I thought Colleen did. Let me see. If you are. Um, no, I think we, so we said 721, which is today. I know there's a second one we have planned. Oh, wait, the ninth. On a Wednesday? No, that was June. I may be. <laughs> If you find out the second day, because I'm, I'm okay. looking at my emails, I know I, I thought we did schedule it. I just don't have it on my schedule. So maybe well, I, I forgot to put it in. Let's do this. Let, okay, so let's, I'm going to, oh, that's, so I'm not going to be here that first week of August. I'm going to Scottsdale for Sea docs Oh, a, nice. Yeah. Um, ID? No, it's just oh. um the digital workflow with the Sarek. Are you okay. are you buying one of those? Um, so I'm I've used Sarek for like six years at my Jersey City office. We had a Prime Mill, Prime Scan. We had this the original OmniCam. Personally, um, you I'm not like a huge. It? I don't um just because like to me. You know, you really have to dial down the systems for your assistants yeah. and everyone else to make that thing profitable. Yeah. And like in the beginning, especially for a new office, like you're you're probably in a better position than me, obviously, to do that. But like, I don't have the time to train them on that also. And then yeah. like, you know, instead of a sixty minute crown appointment, now it turns into two hours two maybe. Hours. And it's just like now now I just diluted my production for yeah. that hour. So like, it can be done. It's just a little bit, you know, not quite there. No, I I totally see that, and I. I was the quality that... too, in my opinion, like I'm not a master at finishing it. And like my lab tech is probably much, much better than what I can do. So like, that's yeah. also another thing to consider, you know, it really is. I mean, it's an artwork and you yeah. have to be really, you got like so all things you have to Do you have one. Do you have one? I do. And okay. I currently don't even use it the associates use it okay um, are, you, I, are you charging it a same day fee we, or convenience fee so we were toying with that idea and then we also got out of network with delta so then we said okay well maybe we shouldn't do that because then it's like too much upfront for a crown mm -hmm. so so, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, if you're, it sounds like you're mostly fee for service, so you don't have to worry about this, but as PPOs, like 
we started charging a convenience fee uh, for like $200 because like, Hey, they're not in the chair for 60 minutes anymore. They're in the chair for almost two hours. Yeah. So like you have to make up for a little bit. So like, Hey, people don't be afraid to charge a convenience fee or same day. Like and if, if you do it this, if you do it the right way and word it the right way via Travis Campbell's book. Okay. If you read that, you'll know exactly how to phrase it and how for them to sign for it. Okay. But you, you can't like you, there's a specific way to phrase it to patients and just read his book. He'll explain how to do that. So you, you read Travis's book. Yeah. It, it, very good. His yeah. books are very easy to read. Like his book versus like the, the Blair books, the uh, coding, the coding. Yo, those are so dry. I like lose my mind, but the Travis one, he has examples and it's a little bit more dumbed down for like me. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little easier. Oh, okay. I'll look into that. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> okay. So then when we get off, I'm going to message Colin to make sure that there, there is another, another episode with us. I thought it was, I thought we had it two weeks after, but you're saying you're away on the fourth. So maybe it was for the 11th. Um, Maybe it's for the eleventh. Well, I'll I'll confirm. Yeah, just confirm for me, please. And that's my yes. fault. I didn't. Yes. I no. I um I'm gonna send her a message right now. But um, you cool. have a good weekend. You too, and thank you again for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, fun always. as always. A super fun, and um, yeah. and yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited for you to um, well, to come to California and me too um, hang out. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm excited to see your offices. I'm, I'm sure they're beautiful. From what oh, they look thank like. you. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to show you my offices, but I'm also excited just to show you wine country. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think my girlfriend's more excited for that, but I'll, I'll do it too. <laughs> we were picking awesome. blueberries last weekend, so we need little things like that to do. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All, right. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Well, thank you for listening to another episode of The Making of Limitless Dental. Make sure to reach out to Nick and let him know how awesome he is and how you're enjoying um, hearing his, his personal startup story. Um, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a couple weeks and hopefully Nick's floors are remedied by then <laughs> and your cabinets hopefully. are not under hostage. Yes. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone.